Hey, Taurus, welcome to your general love read. We are going to look at a little bit of a forecast today. Okay. I'm still in my workout clothes. A stike. It's 83 degrees in my office. Seattle is going through another heat wave. At least it's not 111. I will take that. Okay. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. If you are new, welcome. I'm an intuitive. Much of what you see here may not ring as traditional tarot, so just take what feels light to you, leave the rest. Okay, uh, there still could be role reversals, old energy, new energy coming in. Again, just take what feels light for you, leave the rest behind. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is down below in the description box. If you are returning, thank you. I appreciate you. Please don't forget to click on the like, share, subscribe, all of that jazz. Okay, Taurus, going through a spiritual up-leveling here, okay? For some of you, it's clearing out a lot of just old baggage. And look, okay, you're breaking free from the sheeple, okay? You're breaking free from whatever has been restraining you, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. Ooh. My brain went away just for a minute, right? Like I was breaking away. All right, let's see what's going on for Taurus. What's going on for Taurus? Comes back. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And what do you need to be aware of? is punching my back. Oh. I don't know if that resonates with someone. Maybe like are getting bit on the back. No, I don't like that at all. Even if it was just a mosquito, I still don't like that at all. Okay, so what's going on here? <laughs> Someone's in love, but with the head turned to the side, they're very like just in the emotion of love. Okay, Queen of Cups. Um, they're patiently awaiting, right? Like, I know that this is coming to me. Okay, I know. For some of you, this could be that you have finally found like self-love. And so you're like, oh, I love myself. And so now love is going to come to me. Okay, that's not for everyone. But um, for some of you, <laughs> there's this like demure like if I just wait they'll come they'll come and love me okay they already do love you there is the star okay in the meantime like you're like dissecting all the different ways that you maybe haven't wished this into existence properly but they're already there Okay, so what do you need to be aware of here? Okay, you're not, you're just not seeing the path ahead of you, but it's lit up, okay? The path is there to follow, to get to exactly where you need to be, right? There's the swamp that I was in um, earlier this week. And so it's just a matter of, you've got to gain your clarity and release the muck. Okay, some of you are still uh, back and forth between who you were and who you think you need to be. And you can see she's standing in the muck on both sides. Neither of these are true. Okay, neither who you were in the past or who you think you're supposed to be, neither is true, Taurus. Okay, and Spirit saying, burn that shit down and walk on, okay? Wow, like my whole crown chakra is lit up right now. Burn that down and walk on, okay? Tell me about, yeah, okay, Queen of Cups, again, there's the star, three times there now, okay? You have your wish. You have your wish, Taurus, okay? 
So <laughs> you're just too emotionally underwater to go after this, right? To talk about this, to address this. You're dissecting it, okay, Queen of Swords, perhaps because you were rejected in the past. That's old energy, okay? Flush it. Three of Fire, right? Yeah. Okay, yes, the path is ahead of you, but you've got to, you got to work for it. Okay, you can't... Wow, I mean, I just, I don't know who, like if you're outside and you are getting bitten up by mosquitoes, please stop. Please go inside and put on some DEET or something, okay? So the tower here, all right, um, you've got to work for it. You cannot get rid of the muck just by wheeling it away. Okay, there's temperance again. Somebody has been patiently waiting. This is a divine counterpart. Patiently waiting for acknowledgement, for being seen, okay? For taking this to the next level. But until you, if you can't burn this down, there's no bringing this together, okay? There's no second chance here. Six of cups in reverse. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and see what's going on with the Divine Feminine in this situation. Now, just because you are the Divine Feminine does not mean that you are female. Okay. Take it as it resonates for you. And for the Divine Masculine. Okay, the Divine Feminine in here feels like everything has run to a trickle. They are doing everything to get the attention here. All right, I felt these for most of you. A few of the Divine Feminines may actually be stalking um, their counterpart, but I don't feel like, I feel like for most of the Divine Feminines are doing everything to gain the attention that they need because they're not getting the attention. And so I do feel like this may be the reading for the Divine Masculine, okay? Um, because there is this comparison, right? <whistles> There's somebody's alarm. Hold on, let me turn that off. Okay. That's interesting that that went off right at that moment, right? It's a wake up, Taurus. That's your wake up. Okay. Whatever you're trying to decipher here in the stars, there's no, again, right? Okay. Which either side that you're looking at here is stuck in the muck. You have to go forward with a very different mindset. Okay. You can't find the balance in this. You can't balance out um, any of this. You just have to go forward on the path differently. Okay, so let's clarify a little bit more. And it's interesting because you are, right? Do you see how you are mirroring each other? Justice and justice. The masculine is sitting and the feminine is seeing that the emotions have run dry, right? Okay. Yeah. This is the Ten of Cups. This is the real deal. The feminine is holding out, waiting, hopeful that they're going to get this recognition, right? They are so much in their head. That's why they are, if you're stalking masculine, you're feminine, and you're like watching all of their pictures on social media, and you think, oh my God, they're doing great, and they don't mean me, and blah, blah, blah. No. All of these things that they're doing are because in their head, they're going crazy because you're not giving them the emotional connection that they are seeking. 
Okay. Yeah. What do they want? They're king of cups. They want the masculine to stand up and declare their love. Okay. Now the masculine here. Okay. Yeah, you're like, but I've got to see where this is going. No, you're still trying to figure out, right? Look, I'm trying to declare which what's going on with the stars here, right? I'm really trying to discern, like, why do my wishes not turn out the way that I want? I mean, look, you're like, I wanted the Three of Cups. I didn't get the Three of Cups. The blessings are there. Spirit gave you the Three of Cups. For some reason, you just didn't see that wish. Okay? You are very, very passionate about this person, but there is a lack of taking action. You may have even walked away from them in the past here. Eight of Cups. Okay? Very interesting. So, emotionally, what is the feminine feeling right now? They do feel hopeful, okay? Um, interesting, they may be looking at actions you're taking and feeling like you are awakening, okay, masculine? and feeling very hopeful about that. How is the masculine feeling? Okay, again, shy, skittish, but loving, okay? I don't know how to address this with you, but no doubt I am in love with you, feminine, okay? On the feminine here, okay, we've got a lot of passion. Okay, this desire for the masculine to come in and step up. Okay, so that then they can turn and recapture, okay, this romance, this feeling that they want and desire by being playful. Okay, they want to be playful in all of this. Okay, the masculine... I feel like there's a little bit of an obsessive energy here with the honeymoon. Um, but the problem is, is that there's a lot of differences between the two of you. That's why there's that comparison, that two of wands energy, where you just don't quite know what to, what to do in this. But as I, it's showing what you think you're supposed to do, none of that is right. You just have to go right down the center of these choices. Okay, make a path towards your wish. What does the feminine want to say? Let me be your last dance. Last night I dreamt about you. So you guys are connecting energetically. Okay, they do want this to be there forever after. What about the divine masculine? <laughs> Our souls speak the same language. So you recognize that deep connection with the feminine and the feminine realizes it with the masculine okay what else is opening up that taurus needs to know about okay again we've got the star could you get the star anymore here okay Emotionally, the emotions that you want from this person, the love that you want from this person, the wish that you want from this person, you have it, the star. With the hangman, you're not going to get a different perspective if you keep waiting. It's not going to happen. Okay? It just is what it is. And you have to go forward with it. You go forward with this and you'll find the missing link, okay? The Hierophant and the Chariot. It's that forward momentum that shows you what's missing, the link that's missing here. 
right. Tell me about this missing link. Okay, for some of you, it goes back to the chase and perhaps the rejection in the past, okay, as being a cycle that you feel like you've felt again and again, where you've been hurt again and again, right? But Spirit's like, this is your chance to overcome, okay, the universe, the world. It's time to release that karmic energy and move yourself forward in faith and trust, right? There's that solar plexus, faith and trust. So let's go ahead and get you some direction then, okay? With the map oracle here. Yeah, okay, take a leap of faith, arms wide open, faith and trust, all right? That is exactly what you are being guided to here. And know that it is hard because you've been stuck in the mud, but this one is worth it, okay? You are transforming, you are coming to life. You have found a gem in a world full of, you know, marbles. You found a gem and this is the one. Okay, this is your star. They're showing me that she's holding the star. This is your star. Okay. So, where are you at on the journey here? X marks the spot. C, the love in disguise. Okay, this is your love. Um, you may not see it, right? That's the challenge. You hold the key to an awakened life. Set yourself free. Allow yourself to be happy. That's what I'm getting here. Like you don't, you have this fear of happiness, right? Where you are at the bottom of the deck here is where you're at. You're stuck in the time construct. Okay. So let's pull a couple of cards from Universal Love. Yeah, this person feels you. Okay, at an energetic level. And they don't understand, I feel like, why on either side, why is this not happening? Yeah, this is the love that you have seeken. Have you seeken? This is what you seekened. This is what you sought, okay, Taurus? And this is the one, okay? Celebration, divine guidance. Everything has come to this moment, okay? With this new, this next full moon in Aquarius, that's your star. Seek your star, okay? Let's get a little bit of medicine from the shamans, okay? Yeah, offerings, all right, wealth. Abundance is coming to you in every way possible when you follow your dreams, okay? But it does take having faith that all of this, okay, is meant for you medicine bag okay treasure again more abundance more treasure you may be having a lot of fear of this lack of moving forward but the whole thing is stars okay wishes being granted and yeah the west purge okay let go of the fear of moving forward okay 
the star, okay, moving towards the portal, which closes on the 12th, and the communication, the connection coming through on the other side of it, okay? By releasing, by purging this fear of standing up, of connecting, of just being, embracing of this, right? Look, where is the star in the cosmos? You are creating a very, very new world. But here's the thing, okay? Below that is the bull. That is the divine bull, okay? So in this energy, Taurus, you can either dig your heels in and miss out on the wishes that you have asked the universe for, or you can step up and grab Aphrodite and make all of your dreams come true, okay? Get Venus, get Aphrodite, get that divine love, and create this new world together. It's going to be very healing, all right? So I hope this helps you, and I hope to see you guys next time, all right? Have a beautiful week. Bye.